Hey, smart homers, you know I get asked about my smart home automation setup all the time. I spend so much time explaining the details behind the how-to, I forget that you might want to see what it is that I do. So without any further ado, here are 26 of my favorite home automations. Actually, I don't know if they're 26. I didn't even count. There's a bunch though, stay tuned. Hi again, John Stone, the DIY Smart Home Guy. You will probably recognize several automations from other how-to videos. If you want to discuss the details of how I did some of these things, join the discussion on my Facebook group. Of course, there are links below. Let's get into it. One of the things that we pay particular attention to in our smart home is the nighttime lighting. For example, if we get up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom, we want to make sure that that water closet light turns on to a very low dim setting. You know, that way you don't blind yourself when you're trying to go to the potty in the middle of the night. The kitchen light has a similar feature just in case we wander in in the middle of the night. The first time is usually for corn chips. The second time is usually for Tums. <laughs> go figure. In either case, when there's motion, the hot water pump kicks in and we have warm water all throughout the house whenever we need it. Because there's nothing worse than being touched with icy hands in the middle of the night. So first thing in the morning when we head into the kitchen for coffee, the kitchen lights automatically turn on. Well, that is half the lights turn on to this pleasantly dim level. My wife doesn't like a lot of light in the morning, so it's good enough for her. Back in the ensuite, I don't know if that's how you say it. You know I'm not French. A single tap up on the main switch turns on half of the lights in the bathroom. These are all Zigbee lights controlled from an Inavelli Red Series on off switch. The closet light is also motion controlled and has a auto off setting as well. When your hands are full, having lights turn on automatically is a big help. The kids bathroom has a similar feature, motion detected turns lights on. There's also a Zoos double switch that makes sure that lights turn off. During the day, the master bath water closet light actually turns on automatically to a comfortable dim level after the door is closed instead of by motion like it does during the night. Now, when I wake up in the morning to shower, I need a lot of light. This is my version of coffee. It helps me wake up. Five taps up on that bathroom switch turns on all the lights in the bathroom, flooding the area with light. It's glorious. And if the bathroom blinds happen to be open, they close automatically to make sure the neighbors aren't peeking in. Because <laughs> you know that's what neighbors do, right? When I'm all done getting ready for work, one push on that bathroom in a belly shortcut button and all the lights turn off and the blinds open to their daytime setting. As people are coming and going from the house in the morning, we have various lights that indicate doors open, including that garage. When the garage is open, my main hallway, bathroom, and office lights turn red. They automatically return to their normal state when the garage is closed. We also have a few buttons around the house that can close the garage door. It's always a good idea to double check that nobody's in the way from a camera before shutting the door. Yeah. My garage is a complete disaster. I told you, don't judge me. And anytime that garage door closes, the front door automatically locks. If everyone is out of the house, all the doors lock, uh, just, just in case we forget. Never done that. An unlocked door turns a light in the master bathroom purple. It's a nice indication if you're home alone. Sensors on the main doors and windows activate the main accent lights, turning them green as an indication that we have open doors as well. I call this eco mode. If any one of those main doors or windows stays open after two minutes, the Ecobee automatically changes the thermostat settings to broaden the heat and cool ranges. This prevents that HVAC system from cycling while doors and windows are open. And then when everything's all closed up, the thermostat returns to its original setting automatically and the lights resume to their original programming. We're using that Ecobee 4 with five additional sensors. This also helps balance the temperature in rooms that need heating or cooling the most. A couple of those Ecobee sensors double as sensors for a fan control. When it starts getting warm, the Ecobee sends the temperature to my hub, which turns on the fans. Now, as a part of that nighttime routine, about 30 minutes before sunset, we have several LED strips that start changing colors over the next hour. At 30 minutes past sunset, the lights settle into this nice midnight blue. 
The lighting programs also stay constant when we are away on vacation, and this makes sure that that house always has this lived-in look. So really from the street, you can't tell if we're at home or away. We just, it always looks the same. Now, we spent a fair amount of time trying to figure out exactly what time the essential living lights in our house should be coming on. Basically, I tracked the time of day that my wife would turn around and say, Alexa, turn on the kitchen light. And I found that it was within about the same couple of minutes every day. So I made a rule that turns on 19 minutes before sunset. And just about the time you get in your head where you say, should the light be coming on? They come on. I have two motion sensors in the garage. One looks for motion near the main garage door and the other looks at the side door to the garage. If either sensor detects motion, all the lights come on. Outside the home, when motion is detected near the front door, the exterior lights automatically turn on and after a few minutes, they automatically turn off. I highlighted this in another video below. This is using a Zoo's outdoor motion detector and a couple of Zigbee lights and it's pretty slick the way that's set up. Uh, there's links for that below. And of course, we can always look at one of the many cameras to watch over the front of the house to make sure that there is no boogeyman out there. There's the boogeyman right there. Isn't she creepy? And whenever someone unlocks that front door, the entry light automatically turns on. If it was unlocked from a pin code on the outside, Alexa greets them when they enter. Welcome home, John. Nice to see you. It's very nice. And at night, we all settle in to watch our favorite programs on the telly. While I make my evening cocktail, I tell Alexa to turn on Netflix. When I'm finished and back in my Barco lounger, I have another Pico that can set the lights back to their normal evening settings. And then we start it all over again. Now, there is a lot more going on here than what I can show in this video. There's a whole host of other cool stuff that we do, but you get the idea. Let me know which automation you like the best, and don't forget to head over to that Facebook group if you want to share your coolest automation ideas. The community would love to hear about it. Until next time, cheers.